And as Clinton claims victory in Iowa, there are new developments in the so-called Whitewater scandal. Five years after its request, the National Archives has released documents to the group Judicial Watch from the investigation into Clinton's role in the fraudulent investments. One America's Neil W. McCabe has more from Washington. Former First Lady Hillary Clinton has been hounded by questions regarding her handling of classified government information and the attacks on U.S. facilities and personnel in Benghazi. But for more than 20 years, the Clintons have been dogged by scandal. President Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary moved into the White House from the Arkansas governor's mansion in January 1993 under federal investigation. Chris Farrell, chief of investigations for Judicial Watch, told One American News the watchdog fought in court for five years before the National Archives released documents relating to the Office of Independent Counsel's investigation into Hillary Clinton's role in the failure of the Madison Guarantee Savings and Loans. Yes, this is not somebody writing a memoir and reflecting on what they choose to remember. This is the actual real documentation the back and forth between the attorneys. When federal investigators looked into its books, it found a corrupt triangle where McDougal contributed to Governor Clinton and hired Rose law firm attorney Hillary Clinton to handle bank business such as the shady developments called Whitewater and Castle Grande. We had heard, we had an understanding through a confidential source that there was a draft indictment of Mrs. Clinton. Attorneys for the Office of Independent Counsel determined Mrs. Clinton misled state and federal banking regulators and drafted documents to conceal a fraudulent $300,000 loan to Madison's Castle Grande development. The attorneys also determined that Clinton destroyed her personal records of her work for Madison to hide her culpability. The documents also provide a narrative of Clinton's efforts to block investigators from removing Rose Law Firm records from the office safe of her mentor, Vince Foster, after Foster's body was found in July 1993 at Washington's Fort Marcy Park. Foster had been Deputy White House Counsel, and his boss, Bernie Nussbaum, had agreed to let investigators have the documents, but he changed his mind after a series of phone calls from the former First Lady. Judicial Watch told One American News the National Archives has admitted it has the actual indictments drafted by Prosecutor Hickman Ewing, but the archives have refused to turn over the files. There's much more to this story, and we're going to continue to pursue it. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington.